I've always wanted to come here and have a look because as you can see, it's a really nicely defined quarry. It's very clear, mm. uh, it's very open. It's a sort of a neat little case study. Um, you can see the way people have been quarrying. Either they've been digging long pits in the sandstone. There was probably a, a sort of sub-horizontal surface here of sandstone and they've dug pits into it. And you can see this is a really good example where you've got a, a, a pit here with all the debris thrown out on either side. There are other pits sort of impinging on it a bit and it's sort of an overlay of, of pits. Now what are they actually quarrying? Well they're quarrying, they're trying to get slabs. You can see it doesn't fracture very well, they're not the bedding planes on poor. But over here we can see what they, what they, what, where they go. Now here's a good example oh, yeah. of, of where they're going. They broke this so it didn't go any further, but sort of trimming it into an oval shape and then this pitting is a hammer dressing as they thin it down and try and get a sort of a, a blank that is sort of a useful size and shape which can be traded. And you can see there, there are others that they've got a high they've got a high wastage rate here. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure what they're using as a tool for hammering. I can't see any pebbles around but there must have been something. You can see again, you can see the process. Flake it, you know, lever out a, a, a yeah. roughly flat bit, flake it to shape and then start hammer dressing to sort of remove some of the weight. Um, quite a bit of work and that stuff be traded out into the desert. Mm. You can see that once we're away from the quarry, we're getting more of the trim stuff. Mm. So the, you know, the heavy duty extraction is going on over here. Mm. And the, a lot of the trimming is over here. Um, June will be drawing up, but we probably need a team of three people on the staff. One to hold the staff, another couple to measure out from the, the point we've surveyed in to get the outline of the circle. And, and you know, maybe uh, if uh, we then sort of swap over during the course of the day because we have to work pretty constantly and, you know, <laughs> you guys are on holiday but June and I are at work. <laughs> no, we're working. We're working. We're working. Yeah. Yeah. They're working. Yeah. <laughs> See, one of the things that's not really been done is no one sat down with a decent plan of a quarry and said, how many pits, mm. how much stone, yeah. which, how many pits have been worked at any one time, yep. and what's the volume, what are the economics of one of these quarries? Mm. Mm. So this would have been very protected and very like a little... Um, People would have been fairly jealous of their resources. Really, probably. Wasn't it? Yeah. My drawing, um, and, and this is due north, so we, we use this to um, work out the degrees by putting it on the total station, exactly. Um, we plot the, the angle, we do the maths, measure out from the centre. 1.3. 1.3. And the total is? 4.1. 4.1. From the south. 1.7. From the east. 2.5. 2.5. Thinner now, she just dislodged a rock. Yeah. Thickness is? 2.9. 2.9. Lower? 1079. 9.2 meters? Elevation? 1.26. Six 
7.7 meters. Elevation, one, three, six, two. 1.9. Thickness, 1.9. Okay, we'll do, we'll do um, four cardinal points out on the plane away from the quarry, but that's probably it for the quarry now. What we've been doing is plotting in the major ridge lines uh, formed by the quarrying debris. So uh, that, uh, that supplements um, our plotting in of the major pits, so that gives us a, a good survey plan of, uh, of this Narkanawi quarry.